From the News Channel 5 Network, I'm Rory Johnston. Here's what's happening. The officer charged with criminal homicide for his role in the death of Daniel Hambrick appeared in court for a preliminary hearing. A General Sessions judge will decide if Andrew Delkey can be indicted by a grand jury. The state argues Delkey, who is white, murdered Hambrick, who is black. Police reports say Hambrick was armed at the time he was shot. Defense attorneys say Delkey was simply doing his job. Sintoya Brown should not be given clemency. That's what the case's lead detective says in a letter written to Governor Haslam. Metro Detective Charles Robinson says her story is inconsistent and argues the murder she carried out was not in self-defense, but rather to take his money and guns. Governor Haslam will leave office Saturday, January 19th. An 18-year-old killed in a fiery crash will be laid to rest tomorrow afternoon. Ephraim Teagan died when his car veered off the road and struck a tree, causing it to burst into flames. Funeral services will be held tomorrow at 2 at Christ Church, Nashville. That's on Old Hickory Boulevard. Metro Police asking once again for you to take caution with locking your car this year. A total of 686 guns were stolen from cars in Nashville this past year. Police say most of those vehicles were unlocked at the time the guns were taken. Always be sure to park smart and secure all your valuables. All right, now with a check of the latest forecast, here's Henry. Hey there, Rory. As we go through the overnight, uh, we're going to have temperatures fall into 36. Good news, the rain tapers off 55 as we dry out for your Saturday. In fact, you're going to see a lot of this, the sun finally shining across the area. Seven day forecast rain chances don't return until Monday into early Tuesday. So bottom line, get out and enjoy the weekend.